Are you ready to take your guitar playing to the next level? Well, today we're going to unlock the secrets of the minor pentatonic and the blues scale on the guitar. Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Jeff Davis. I'm a 35 year veteran guitar instructor holding a degree in classical guitar, teacher education, teaching over 60 students a week, and I'm excited to bring this lesson to you today. So let's grab our guitars and let's get going. To play the minor pentonic and the blues scale on the guitar, we will need to learn the pattern of notes that make up these scales and also the music theory behind them. As you will see, it's a simple pattern that can be moved up and down the neck of the guitar. However, today we are approaching this as a beginner lesson and in the open position in the key of E. So before we dive in and start looking into how to play the minor pentonic and the blues scales, it's first worth covering the basics and the music theory of how these scales are constructed. Now the minor pentonic scale is a five note scale, the word penta being derived from the Greek word for five. So the minor pentonic scale contains notes that are taken from the natural minor scale, but only contains five of those seven notes. So in the key of E, which we will be using for the examples in this lesson, the notes that appear in the natural minor scale are as follows. E, F sharp, G, A, B, C and D. Now to create this minor pentonic scale, we will just take five of the notes from that scale, namely the first, the third, the fourth, the fifth, and the seventh. In the key of E, this would be the notes E, G, A, B, and D. All right, let's take a look at the theory behind the blues scale. Now this one is pretty easy since we just constructed the minor pentonic scale. It's going to be the exact same thing with the addition of one note. Let's take a look at the theory behind the blues scale. So in the key of E, the formula for this scale is taken from the natural minor scale, the first, the third, the fourth, the flat fifth, that means the fifth note but just moved down a half step, the fifth and the seventh. So now we have six notes. Those notes will be E, G, A, B flat, B, and D. All right, so these blues scales can be played and transposed in any position on the guitar. But today we're just going to be learning them in the open position. Let's talk about what those notes are and how to play them. Let's start off with the minor pentonic scale. We're going to play an open sixth string. Play the third fret of the sixth string with the second finger. Play an open fifth string. Play the second fret of the fifth string. Play an open fourth string. Second fret fourth string with the first finger. Open third string. Second fret third string. Open second string. Third fret second string open first string. So it sounds like this. Zero, three, zero, two, zero, two, zero, two, zero, three, zero, three. All right, let's dive into the blues scale. Remember from the music theory we just talked about, the blues scale is the same as the minor pentonic with the addition of one note, which what note was that again? The flat fifth, you're exactly right. Let's try that scale. We're going to play an open sixth string, third fret of the sixth string, open fifth string, first fret of the fifth string, second fret of the fifth string, open fourth string, second fret fourth string, open third string, second fret third string, fourth fret of the third string, open second string. 3rd fret, 2nd string, and open 1st string. So here's the blues scale. So as mentioned earlier, it's essential that we answer one of the most important questions when learning these scales, and that is, what do we do with these scales? Well, I've created an exercise for us today that's going to help answer that question. I'm going to give you an opportunity to make up your own thing. But let's start with this exercise first. There's three chords we're going to be using in conjunction with these scales. Let's go over them. E minor chord. Do you remember the E minor chord? The A minor chord. Do you remember the A minor chord? 
the B7 chord. Do you remember the B7 chord? All right, here's the example that I'd like for you to play along with. Alright, so when you're playing along with this, if you feel this is too fast for you, remember to use that cogwheel up in the upper right hand corner to slow this down by 75% or slower if you need to keep up. Okay, so improvising with this scale is really, really fun to do. This is a common thing that I do with all my students. What I have them do is to learn an exercise just like you're learning right now, but for every even measure, if you look at the music, for every even measure, two, four, six, eight, and 10, you are going to add your own notes in those measures, but keep the chords before those measures exactly the same. So let me give you an example. I'm just gonna make something up here. Now, I suggest keeping this really, really simple at first. Try not to skip a lot of strings, but just have fun with it, and you'll start to see that improvising will really help you make it your own. So in conclusion, to really master the minor pentonic and the blues scale on the guitar, practice is key. I would like to encourage you to incorporate this scale also as a part of your daily warm-up and practice routine. When you do, you're gonna see a massive difference in your playing in a very short time. Also, I highly recommend that you revisit this video and practice along with it on a daily basis. Thank you for watching this video today. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks to enhance your playing. Also remember that it's my passion to help you learn on the instrument and connecting with you is what makes the effort all worthwhile and a labor of love. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit that bell so you can stay up on all the notifications of our upcoming lessons and I'll see you next week.